think we should have said one of them prayers before we started this too. <laughs> I'm here on the Biggest Loser Ranch. It's just, it blows your mind. It's an amazing place. Hope lives at the Biggest Loser Ranch. Dreams come true and miracles happen on this ranch. Good morning. We're headed to the gym and I look up and I see the trainers sitting there on the steps. I see Anna, I see Bob, and I see Dolvet. And they look like they're hungry lions ready to just pounce on us. Like for whatever reason, I just felt like we're about to get our asses kicked. Welcome to your right first now. workout, you right guys. Now. Here we go. You guys pumped? Yeah! You've had your first challenge. Now it's time for your first workout. Yeah. Let's do it. Woo. Let's go. Incline to 10. Come on, coach, you can do it. 10. We are going to surprise everybody, you guys. Do you understand me? <laughs> Nobody expects you to do well. You guys are the oldest here, but we're going to use your wisdom to your advantage. The way I'm approaching my older team is I obviously understand that we can't perform at a high intensity as the 20 somethings or even 40 something. So for me, the most important is that my team is going and going and going. Okay, we're gonna do resistance to 25. Anna. Yes, I'm listening. I need a break. No, I'm sorry. Right now we're working. Push yourself, go faster. You can do it faster. Come on. Stop saying sorry, Becky. Okay. The last 10 minutes, we're going to go all the way. Come on, push it. Let's go. How about the last three minutes? No way. Debbie has all the tools. She just really needs to stop trying to get her way out of exercising. My name is Debbie. I am from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and I'm 60 years old. I have three grown children and I have six grandchildren. And I think now that I'm 60, I'm realizing my mortality. I'm realizing that, you know, I'm, I'm not the little young 30 year old girl that I was before, that I gotta take care of this body that I've been given. Come on, blue team, incline 20, let's go. Finish up strong. Incline? Yes, incline, Debbie. Can you not give us a break on the first day? Nope. This is only the first day. And this is what she's doing to us on the first day? Sing. I think our time is up. Come on. Our time is up. You can talk. That means you can keep going. Go. I'm thinking, that girl looked like such an angel. You know, so nice, so sweet. And here, she just turns into a bear. Water? No water. We're not done. Come. Jump off the ground. John, you can do it. Come on. Don't give up, John. Let's go. Are you giving up? Don't hold on. You can't? I love peel right from the pot. I don't hey. care. I wanted to walk out the door. I wanted to quit the mission. Let's go. You want to quit. You want to quit. I'm out of here. OK, leave. Go ahead. John. 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 He was prepared to walk out. Obviously, this is not a prison. At the end of the day, it's his life on the line. Johnny, come on. He just gave up. Johnny. He just gave up. Johnny, you got nine grandkids. Let's go. Did I want to quit? When you think you can't do anymore, you think you're ready to blow, you're 65 years old. My name is John, AKA Boston Johnny, and I've got three lovely children. I also have uh, nine grandchildren. What do you climb on P? They're all part of the reason that I've come to be the biggest loser. But the thoughts of my sons saying, Dad, when you got no more, remember, you got to pull it out of somewhere. So I dug a little deeper, kept on going. Oh. Let's go. Come on, John. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. You're doing great. You're doing great. Come on. You're not a quitter, are you? The true result with Johnny will show on the scale. You know, we'll see how committed he was this week. Are you? I'm not a quitter! Yeah, can someone wake up, Becky? She has an urgent phone call. I got a phone call about 3.15 this morning, and it was my husband to tell me that my dad had passed away. At this point, my, my dad is um, dealing with congestive heart failure, and there's no telling when that will take him. After I, I found out, I knew that, um, I knew I wasn't gonna sleep. I just knew that I had to, I had to do something. I, had, I couldn't just 
I couldn't just sit in my room and, and let my mind just race. So did something relatively out of character. I went over to the gym. It was very quiet and I was all by myself. I walked and I walked and it was very cathartic. It gave me time to think, it gave me time to pray, it gave me time to reminisce and think about memories and things that, that I had done with dad. And after he found out that he was diabetic, he, he said, you've got you've to gotta take care of this weight. So I want my dad to know that um, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna get control of my weight because if not, I'm headed down the same path. Now I'm going to go home and I'm going to be with my family for a few days, but I absolutely want to change my life for me, for my dad, and for my family. You guys have heard about Becky, yeah. obviously, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. Um, yeah. she left, but she'll be back in a couple of days. A word of Becky's father passing, it was just a pretty emotional time. I felt for her. Yesterday really hit home for me because my dad died at 69. And losing my husband, you know, four years ago really made me realize that life goes on. And if I don't get myself healthy, I'm going to go too, you know, and I won't be here for the grandkids. You read the paper and you look and I see I see people that I know that are that are passing on. I'm thinking to myself, something's got to be done. Something's got to be done because yep. if not, I'm, I'm going to be one of those statistics. Exactly. I don't want to be one of those. Yep. The thing that has struck me the most is, is that the biggest loser family, our family. Yeah. And it's so... I know. We're a family. We're, yeah. We all love each other. In a short while that we've been together, you know? When you lose your father or your mother. Yeah, it's hard to lose a parent. It's hard to lose a parent. Yep. Yeah. Yep. God bless her. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had an idea what training on The Biggest Loser would be like, but seeing Becky go through this tragedy is making me realize that it's much more than just about losing weight. It's about being a part of these people's lives, and I'm honored to be able to do this every day. I lost my grandfather to a, a heart attack at 68. And I want you to be there for your grandkids forever and ever, and as long as you can possibly be. All right? Right here. We all felt bad for Becky, but it just shows you that uh, life is precious. So even though one of our team members is not here, it's not going to stop us. We've got to live for today. We got to work hard today. We got to focus on today so we can be here tomorrow. She's a strong player. She's an inspiration to us, and uh, we're looking forward to her return. <laughs> Last jump's workout, you guys. Let's go. But ah! this is the sweat and the determination that I want to see. Right here. Come on, Becky. Come on, you guys. Last chance workout. I'm back at the ranch after being gone for a couple days due to uh, the passing of my father. While I was gone, my mind was just going a million places. So. I don't know what's going to happen with the scale. You're going to pass this first wave with flying colors. You've been doing amazing with everything you're going through. Becky does not give up. This last chance workout, I am absolutely determined to do everything that Anna tells me to do, and then some. Debbie, let's go. Jog. Do not hold on. Do not. Yes, you can. Don't hold on. I've never done anything this hard in my life. Never. And I keep telling myself, other contestants have done this. They've done it. Why can't I? Get back on the treadmill. Good, Becky. Good. Come on, Becky. Let's go. Think of the win. You're doing amazing. Here is a girl who came back a few hours ago from her dad's funeral. Come on, Becky. And the look on her face and the determination and the commitment, I couldn't believe it. <clears throat> Becky, I'm so proud of you. That's great. And I just couldn't help it but get emotional watching her. We got this. I'm not the one that's supposed to be crying, but it's okay. I loved your face. I really did. I was just so proud of her that she 
is taking care of herself, that she wants to be here. Everything you went through in the last three days, everything you went through in the last God knows how many years, yeah. to see your face and you, the perfect teacher that puts everybody ahead of herself. It's my time. There you go. It's your time. And you know what? You know it. You realize it and you're making it happen. Yep. I have more drive than I think I've ever experienced in my life to get this done. The blue team had some hurdles this week. One of our team members' father passed away. And then my knee, you know, I think we did the best we could. This season is a battle of the ages. Tonight, we'll see if age matters on the scale. This isn't just your first weigh-in. It's also the first weigh-in for two new trainers. Anna, you have competed on the world stage in some of the toughest athletic competitions that exist. How does this first weigh in compare? My God, I feel like I'm playing on the Arthur Ashe Stadium again in front of 20,000 people at the US Open. So I'm like dying with anxiety, waiting to see the, re you know, the results and just to see what's gonna happen. Earlier this week, we put you on the scale and got your starting weights. Now it's time to see how much your hard work has paid off. So let's start the weigh-in. Tonight we're going to weigh you in from oldest to youngest. Which means, Johnny, at 65 years old, you're up first. I've had some tough times this week. And instead of quitting, I decided to pursue it. I feel that I've made some progress, but we'll see. Here we go. Johnny, your starting weight was 328 pounds. Your current weight is... 17 pounds. Wow. Whew. I didn't think in the beginning that I could, uh, that I could handle it. I'm glad I stuck it through and, uh, I'm here to stay and here to do the job. Good for you, Johnny. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Go, Johnny! Oh, I'm so proud of you. Johnny, you are starting the blue team off with 17 pounds. You have four players left to weigh in blue team. Up next is 63-year-old Bonnie. Oh, Bonnie, Bonnie. Hey, Bonnie. I'm a nervous wreck walking up to the scale. My first week on the ranch wasn't easy. I had no idea if I lost or not. Bonnie started this competition at 254 pounds. Your current weight is... Very disappointed, but <laughs> I'll take four pounds. It's, it's okay. So it's okay. One thing you have going, Bonnie, you do not stop, you do not quit. So we're gonna find a better way. We're gonna find a more effective way to burn those calories and the numbers are gonna be better. You ready to do that? Yes, I am. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> Seeing the four pounds was very disappointing to me because I was worried already, you know, that I was gonna be sent home. So I, yeah, I had a fear of what was gonna happen. We're just gonna have to go longer. We're just gonna have hey, to go longer. Exactly. Give me that's a good score. All right. We're just gonna go longer, it's okay. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Bunny, you lost four pounds this week, adding to the blue team's total, making it 21 pounds. Mike, 61, you're up. I was a little bit surprised when Bonnie 
put up a number like a minus four. So it does put up some pressure on me to uh, reel out a, a, a bigger number. But I was confident that I could do that. Mike, your starting weight is 309 pounds. Your current weight is. It's a testimony that if you work hard, good things will happen. I've uh, uh, tried being a good role model to everybody else, but I haven't been uh, a good one to myself. And uh, minus 12 is a good success for this week. Mike, you lost 12 pounds, adding to the blue team's total, making it 33 pounds. Debbie, your starting weight was 239 pounds. Your current weight is. I think it's a good number. Um, I thought it was a good number. I thought nine would be a better number, but I'm, I'm happy with six. I think we could have done better than six pounds. I really do. We definitely have to be a little more Focus. focused and don't ask so many questions. It will, it will come. That's my middle name. <laughs> All right, thank okay. you. Okay, thank you. Debbie only loses six pounds this week. I can be there on top of them, I can make them do things, but at the end of the day, they have to want to do it for themselves. Debbie lost six pounds this week, adding to the blue team's total, making it 39 pounds. There's one player left to weigh in for the blue team at 50. Becky, you're up. Becky. Hey, go back. The thoughts of the week that I've just been through are all racing through my head. I'm thinking about having to go home for my dad's passing being away from the ranch. I know I didn't get as much exercise. I know I didn't get as much rest. It, it's all just racing through my head and, and my heart is pounding just about out of my chest. Starting weight was 238 pounds. Your current weight is. Feels great. <laughs> I don't think I've ever lost that much weight at one time, ever. I mean, that's so awesome. I'm excited. I know you've had a tough week. Um, this week was was a tough week for me. Um, my dad passed away early in the week, and I had to go home. And um, it was great to see my family, and it was great to be supported by my family. I'm just amazed the way you've handled things with grace and dignity and. You really proved that if you stay focused, you can achieve things. You're going to go very far. You're going to go very far, and that's just the beginning. Oh, my goodness. To lose 10 pounds in a week, having, you know, battled through everything that I went through this week and trying to stay focused, I really earned it. I worked hard. I put in the work. I did what I needed to do, and I earned those 10 pounds. Becky, you lost 10 pounds, making the blue team's total 49 pounds, with a total percentage of weight loss of 3.58%. Yes. Go blue team! Blue team, I'm sorry to tell you that you have lost the first weigh-in, which means you will have one hour to decide who you're going to send home. The only person you cannot vote for is the person on your team with the highest percentage of weight loss in tonight. That's Johnny. Congratulations, Johnny. You are definitely safe. You will be here for one more week. Good job, Johnny. Blue team, you have a tough decision ahead of you. I'll see you in an hour with your decision. Good luck. As with everyone else on our team, I struggled this week, but I do not want to go home at all. I haven't been here long enough, and it's going to be very difficult to vote somebody up, but, you know, it is what it is. This is your very first elimination. Johnny, you had some success on the scale. In fact, you're the biggest loser for the blue team, which means you're safe from elimination. Tonight, 
You have to vote to send one person home. So we're going to go around the room and you'll each reveal who you voted for. We're going to start with you, Becky. I looked at the accomplishments, at the, the work during the week. We've all opened ourselves up, up to this process and, and opened ourselves up to our trainer and, and we're all striving to do more than, than we thought we could do. And I think this person needs to work just a little bit harder in that area and kind of learn how to break out of their comfort zone a little bit. I voted for Debbie. Okay, Debbie, that's one vote for you. How did you make your decision tonight? This person has excelled to new heights and done things I think in the past may have been impossible. I have no doubt that this person will be able to continue on their journey. My vote is for, for Bonnie. Bonnie, that's one vote for you. And Debbie, you have one vote. It takes three to be eliminated. Johnny, let's hear from you. This person that uh, I have chosen went above and beyond what I ever thought her abilities were. The way that I, I based my decision was based on the amount of weight that was lost. I voted for Bonnie. It's okay. I expected this. You know, I, I lost the lease, so this is what happens sometimes. You go home and win that 100000 It's okay. Bonnie, that's two votes. Debbie, you have one vote. Now it's time to hear from you, Bonnie. I thought that this person said that they had a lot of support at home, and I have all the faith in this person that they can do it at home, too. I voted for Debbie. Debbie, you have two votes, and Bonnie has two votes. So, Coach Mike, it all comes down to how you decided tonight. How'd you vote? All of these people are great. But it goes back to what I had said before. You've got to do the very best you can at all time. And I've seen a lot of these people really, really improve over the week. This individual has enough uh, discipline on her own to get it done. So I voted for Debbie. Debbie, that's three votes. I'm sorry that you have been eliminated, but it isn't over. You're going to be back for one final challenge, mm -hmm. the marathon. The winner of that marathon will be a finalist and competing for the quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. So we look forward to seeing you then. Yeah. I'm sorry to tell you that you are not the biggest loser, and it is time for you to go. Thank you very much. <laughs>